We've given you a top 10 list of vegetables on the show before as far as their popularity and being grown in many of the home gardens. And of course, tomatoes won first place hands down. But what about the 10 most nutritional or healthy vegetables? According to the USDA, they now encourage us to eat three to five servings of vegetables a day for optimal nutrition. Now they also put out a listing of 10 vegetables that are considered to be very high in minerals and vitamins and we want to share those with you. The number one spot goes to broccoli. It has twice the vitamin C, ounce for ounce, and oranges. It also is a source of B vitamin and calcium. The neat thing about it though, it's a cool season crop and here in Oklahoma we can really grow it in two seasons in the spring and late fall. There are many types of broccoli. Uh, there's two types in general with the central head, some that will put off many sh side shoots and some that won't. Many colors and there are over 60 varieties now. Number two is spinach. It has lots of iron, calcium, potassium, and vitamin A. It's also cool season, again with two crops growing in Oklahoma. Um, some people leave in shade spinach during the summer and extend the growing season and can get it year round. There's savoy and semi savoy types, smooth, oriental, and ones that are referred to as substitutes of spinach, like climbing spinach, Malabar, in New Zealand, with over 70 varieties of spinach. Third is Brussels sprouts. It's packed with vitamin C and high in vitamin B, iron, and potassium, also a cool season with two crops again and over 30 varieties. Fourth, which was kind of surprising to me, was lima beans. It is also the best vegetable for potassium and it's high in iron, vitamin B and calcium and it's our first warm season crop that we've talked about. It prefers warmer soils even than green beans and a longer growing time and the main types of lima beans are pole and bush types. They come in plump or small seeded varieties and there are about 35 different ones to pick from. Fifth was peas and we're talking about all types of peas, both vining, bush and edible potted. They're high in vitamin B, rich in iron, some even have vitamin C. Again we can get two crops of peas because they're cool season and it has over 115 varieties. Sixth was asparagus, high in vitamins B, C, and A, rich in iron, and it's one of the only crops that truly is considered a perennial here in Oklahoma. You can harvest it in early spring for several weeks, then let it fern out for next year's crop production. It even comes in many different colors, and there are about 20 different varieties or cultivars on the market. Seventh is artichokes. It's one that we haven't grown too commonly here at Oklahoma Gardening, but we're talking primarily about the globe artichoke, which are actually eating the flower bud. And the leaves are also high in potassium, calcium, iron, and vitamin B6. Many people will grow it as an annual, depending on the location of the state, others as a perennial, and there's only about 10 types. Eighth is cauliflower, high in vitamin C. It's a cool season crop, again, two crops a year. It comes in early, mid, and late varieties, many colors, miniature types, many different flower sizes and shapes with over a hundred varieties. Ninth was sweet potatoes. It was the second best source of vitamin A, also high in vitamin C, warm season crop, very productive, and there's well over 25 cultivars. Coming in at number 10 has more vitamin A than any other vegetable rich in potassium and calcium is carrots. It's also cool season, two crops that come in round, long, miniatures, different colors, and it's also the ver vegetable that has over 175 varieties to choose from, more choices than any other one that we've talked about. Now you'll notice that all 10 of these vegetables are easily grown in Oklahoma. You'll also notice that three of the ten were in the cruciferous family, such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower, and we've talked to you before about medical reports emphasizing that these particular vegetables contain anti-cancer elements. So in addition to the vitamins and minerals, you get fiber and many other positive health benefits. We already noticed that other vegetables weren't listed on the top 10 that we commonly grow, but that shouldn't discourage you because all vegetables and fruits have many positive, positive nutritional and healthy benefits. 
So when mom says, eat your vegetables, she's not the only one who knows what she's talking about. <laughs>